Oh, hello, this is Miss Cruz, and I'm going to go over the vocab for packet number eight. This week, we're going over thermal energy transfer, and there are some labs, so I wanted to go over the vocab so you're able to know what is what. Okay, so first, we have conduction. So conduction is a type of heat transfer where the heat transfer is happening between objects that are touching. Okay, so they are touching. So, for example, here you have the pot on the burner, the electric stove burner, and they are touching. So, the heat from the electric burner passes up to the pot, and then that heats up the water that's being touched by the pot. We also have the metal spoon in the hot chocolate. So, if you put the metal spoon in your hot chocolate and you forget about it, and then you try to remove the spoon, you will notice that it is much hotter. So, conduction. Heat transfer while touching. Conduction, touching. Next, we have convection. Convection is heat transferred through a fluid like air or water. So the heat is being transferred either in a liquid or in a gas. For example, here we have a pot of soup. As you're heating up the soup, the liquid touches the different parts of the soup and that heats up the whole system. So convection. Heat circulating in a fluid, a liquid, or a gas. Next, we have heat transfer. So the way heat transfers is from a substance at a higher temperature to a lower temperature. So hotter things try to send their heat out to things that are at a less hot state or something that is colder. Okay, so heat travels from higher temperature to lower temperature. The sun, even though it's really far away, it is much hotter than the earth, so its heat travels towards the earth to try to heat up the earth. That is also why when you go outside and it's cold, your body is trying to heat up all the air around you. That's why you feel cold, because all the heat of your body is leaving to try to heat up the air around you. Okay. Next, we have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy due to the mass how many particles something has, and the speed of the object, okay? So kinetic energy, energy of motion, is due to the mass and speed of the object. Mass, the, num the amount of matter or number of particles in an object. So your mass stays the same if you're here on Earth or on the moon, but your weight will differ because of the amount of gravity. Okay, so just remember mass, the number of particles an object has. Particle, it's a small piece of matter. It makes up your mass. It's just like molecules, atoms, particles. They're just little things that make up something bigger. So a small piece of matter. Next, we have radiation. Radiation is the transfer of heat between objects that are not touching. So heat is being transferred. But they are not touching. So, for example, the sun. The sun is really far away, but it can still warm you up if you're standing under it. That's radiation. You can also hold your hand over an iron, like your hand could be right here, and you can feel the heat. You're not touching the metal iron, but your hand is hovering over and you can feel how hot it is. That's radiation. Transfer heat between objects that are not touching. Next, we have temperature. Temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a system. So temperature, when you put a thermometer in something, you are measuring how fast the particles are moving in the thing you're taking the temperature of. So for example, here in the soda, if we put a thermometer there, it's going to be a low temperature because it's ice. So that means the particles are moving slower than I suppose if you put a thermometer in a cup of hot coffee. Okay, so temperature measures how fast the average kinetic energy of particles in the system. Measuring how fast the molecules and particles are moving in the thing you're taking the temperature of. Next, we have thermal energy. Thermal energy is the total amount of energy in a substance due to the motion and number of particles in the system. So thermal energy is the heat, the heat energy and is measured by how many things you have in it, the mass, the particles in it, and what temperature it has. Okay? 
right? So that is the review of all the vocab you need for the week. You will do three labs this week. If you have the materials, you do the labs. If you don't, just follow along with me in the videos. The first lab is called Conduction Spoons, where you have to determine which type of spoon can melt butter the fastest. Then we have the Butter Boat, to see what happens to the butter while it's in a boat on top of hot water. And then the third lab is Balloon and Ice. So you stick a balloon in the freezer and see what happens. All right, so see you in the next videos and have a great day.